What is up heroes, this is Mag Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Lollipop Chainsaw Blind. In the last episode, a much longer episode, we played through the high school level and ended up killing Zed, I believe? <laughs> this epic goth punk zombie... I don't know. It was, it was a mess, honestly, all of last episode. There were plenty of bombing zombies and a big birthday cake that tried to blow us up. It was... It was everything I look forward to in Lollipop Chainsaw, if I'm honest. Let's be real. And we found that there are a few other major zombies we're going to have to kill in order to restore, I don't know, peace to Earth, I guess, from invasion of the, the rotten world. And that's going to lead us to the stadium. I am quite excited for this. I hope you guys are too. The storm at San Romero High. Start the stage? I mean, yeah, let's give it a go. Should be a good time. Got a good amount of sleep coming into this episode with plenty of energy. I know Lollipop Chainsaw has always got plenty of energy ready to respond. Hopefully we don't run into too many struggle segments like the bomb segment last time. Thunder at San Romero High. I'm not sure I can do this, just being ahead. But there's a lot of cool things about being ahead. First of all, I can put you in a bag and sneak you into movies for free. Uh, that hardly makes up for... Carpal tunnel syndrome? You're immune. And it's totally cool. I'm like the only girl with a decapitated head for a boyfriend. I don't want to be a fashion accessory, Juliet. This is my life. I... Is that rain? Uh-oh. What the heck? A flying pirate ship? Or a viking ship? What? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> oh, they're all they're all different like roles in a band. And this is the drummer. This game, I tell you. <laughs> Dodging lightning out here. The giant floating Viking ship is not a good thing. Another dark purveyor. Oh, oh my gosh. That's my big sister Cordelia. What? Huh? My big sister Cordelia. She's a zombie hunter too. Really? Hey! Cordelia! Can you hear me? Hey! What's up, Juliet? <laughs> well, there's Cordelia. Hey, Cordelia! What's up? See you in a few! Right now, I'm gonna go kick some Happy birthday. <laughs> Sends the floating birthday present. God, I'm happy I don't have a bladder. Otherwise, I'd be pissing myself right now. <laughs> the comedy in this game is so creative. I love it. Oh, and it looks like if you change the difficulty, the zombie, the zombie choices are different, as well as the the lollipop locations. Which is pretty interesting. All right. Ten, <clears throat> ten butt <fuck>. What? <laughs> oh man, I never know what to expect. All right, as usual, got to check behind us at the start of the level. Press the R1 to start the chainsaw dash. Pick up the yellow fuel canisters to avoid overheating. Check out this new trick, Nick. It's called the chainsaw dash. Wait, stop! It makes me dizzy. Oh, this is pretty cool. Wait, what? I hit square. I don't know why I um did like a chainsaw attack. Got to remember all my combos. Oh, what? I thought I killed you. Alright, so these football zombies definitely take a lot more to deal with. Which makes sense, right? I mean, they have, like, all the armor, per se. 
if you want to call football padding armor. Whoa! Of course, explosions. Oops. Looks like I missed. Is And so, I'm trying to see if there's an indicator for how much fuel we have, and I'm not really seeing much. Do you guys see one? Most importantly, I want to find my birthday present my sister dropped. Secondly, I want to save my sister's life. Well, or I guess it was to prevent overheating, right? Destroy blue barrels to make zombies groggy. Hit them hard while they are defenseless. Okay. Come on, let me hit him! Let me hit him! So the groggy zombies are obviously significantly more susceptible to our attacks. Which is good to know because, I mean, that's part of the, the strategy behind using those pom-pom bashes, right? Yeah, and it sounds like the, the fuel tanks sort of prevent overheating, right? I'm not really sure how that works yet. But I guess it's alright for now. I've also got this like heavy metal going on in the background. Alexander. Alright, so we're gonna start by picking up this lollipop. Yum. And while they're over here, what I can do is hit this barrel to make them really groggy. And that's going to give us a uh, one-hit kill. Wait, I hope to see my pet cat, Fluffy. Oh, I shouldn't have used all the barrels. Alright, well. So I didn't exactly make him groggy, but yeah, we did a fair amount of damage. Oh boy! <clears throat> oh, the barrels come back. I'm trying to stab him while he's on the ground without much success. You coming over here? Ah, uh, they weren't close enough. That's alright. Uh oh, fire truck inbound. Of course. Heavy metal blazing sirens fired off in the background. I hate it when everyone turns into zombies, but it's also kind of fun because I get to do stuff like jump on a fire truck. <laughs> it is fun. It makes me forget that most of my friends are dead. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, looks like there's some good stuff over here we'll want to get. Oh what? Oh, we're like near overheated. That's the gauge that tells us. It's in the bottom left corner. It's our same sort of, like, superpower gauge. Okay, what are we going to find inside the building? You truly never know with the game like this. You really never know. Make zombies groggy for big, or groggy for big sparkle hunting rewards. Interesting. So I could try to... So it, it, I should really alter my strategy to focusing on making zombies groggy, I think. I've got a decent number of metals. Not a crazy amount, though. Let's see if we can buy anything useful. Oh, there are new skills available. Cheerleader chain armadillos. Final chainsaw power attack. 740. That's a lot. And then the lolliocopter. Launch a flying attack from chainsaw dash. And that's pretty cool. Chainsaw strike. Gives massive damage to foes on ground. Maelstrom spin. Huh. These are all fairly tempting, to be honest. I want to see who my health upgrades are available are, though. The donkey fruit crepe. Hmm, I don't see this as too much of a problem at the moment, honestly. I think I'll continue to save up for now. Let's see what we find over here. Yeah, I'll try and focus on making zombies groggy. Oh, let's not, uh, let's not forget to help this guy out. Fine, ma'am. <laughs> Whoa, it's like backdraft rabies. Hold on, 
victim, dude. I'm coming to help. Ooh, dang, that's a, that did quite a bit of damage. All right, so we can get some good damage in here like this. I need a girlfriend. Okay. I don't know if that was uh, supposed to be like a subtle hint, but we're kind of taken at the moment. All right, we can go through there. Is there anything over this way, though? Doesn't seem like it. Cool. The animations are great. No, green. Awesome. I love learning about you. I fucked up. It's yellow. <gasps> what? That's incredible. My favorite color is yellow too. And my name's also Nick. For those of you that I don't know, don't remember from the very beginning. Oh, I want to get that lollipop. Uh, I'll keep note that it's there. Maybe we'll be able to reach it another time. Anything over this way? No. All right. Uh oh, we're about to be trapped in with something. I'm gonna fist my ass with your head. <laughs> That's so nuts. All these fires are like romantic. I didn't know what you meant. Yeah, I mean, Juliet seems like the type of person that's pretty difficult to read. Oof. For what it's worth, these uh, these football zombies are really only a threat when they're charging up their attacks. But you can interrupt them, which is really nice. What? I thought I, I tried to use Circle to jump over him while he was doing that. Obviously to no avail. Alright. So we can break through there. Although, I think we can go this way too, right? Rich Hunter? Whoa. Game just definitely froze there. Can I, like, break through this? No? I guess not. Alright, well, that's where that lollipop is. Unfortunately, we'll have to get another time. Another playthrough, rather. Do you want to have babies someday, Nick? <laughs> I think that's rather irrelevant, considering my situation. I don't know. We could take a skin sample and put it in a petri dish and use magic to grow a baby. Well, maybe. Cool. There's a 50% chance it will be a cannibal. <laughs> Again, this game is so off the wall. I love it. Also, how are we supposed to get all these lollipops? You've seen them behind a bunch of the red doors. I don't know how to get them. But also, that's hilarious, using the magic to, to grow babies. Also, this early on a relationship talking about ever having babies. Uh oh. Dang. Nice. I was gonna say, I should try and really get into this technique here. It'll prove to be very effective against these guys, albeit it does take a while to do. Dang. They are they're proving very difficult to keep at bay when I am on the ground, or when I'm not, like, doing this attack. They're very aggressive. My, like, thumb is gonna get sore from mashing X all this time. Sorry, there's only one left. Wait, where'd the body go? Oh, okay. Over here. I was, like, uh, a little, little concerned here. I kinda need that body. Oh my goodness, and Juliet's like cheering in the background. I'll just raise my fist and... ah! Ah! <laughs> raise magic. Well done, Nick, well done. Anything in there? Or over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Clearly I am missing stuff though, right? Oh, we can break the trees too for gold? Oh, I wish I knew that earlier. We've missed out on some money. I killed my first zombie at six months old with a sharpened rattle. <laughs> because of course it's not like, uh, oh, I was a kid and then suddenly I got thrown into the zombie hunting business. It's literally like, uh... can I get over this? Oh no, I gotta break it. Of course I do. But it's literally like, from the womb, I was a zombie hunter. Hmm, something tells me otherwise. 
I don't know what. Yeah, I figured why not. Holy cow, that's a lot of coins. Lollipop. I don't know if I saw that earlier. Maybe it's one of those things where, like, it only shows up after, um, after you kill the enemies. Alright, well, we'll continue after that parachute present. It actually kind of reminds me of Animal Crossing, for those of you that have played that game. I keep talking about making zombies groggy, but then whenever I get in fights, I just go for those chainsaw attacks. Time for Chainsaw Dash again! Oh, and I gotta look into those phone calls. When I got time at the end of this episode, I gotta remember to go to Juliet's room. Alright, so we got 355 medals, which is nice. Donkey Fruit Crepe. I mean... I don't know. I kinda, I kinda wanna get this. And then there's the Rodent Chow Mein. <laughs> Interesting. I want to be able to increase my strength again, honestly, but it's not an option yet. That's alright. I think we're at max lollipops, aren't we? Hmm, cheerleader chain, chain pom pom bash to make, zombie scroggy. Is this, like, different than what we normally have? Let's, let's give it a go, honestly. Press square up to five times, move zombies around, and get them to groggy more quickly. Okay, Let, let's, let's give it a go. I'm trying to commit to the whole groggy life. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hold up for a minute. Get this golden lollipop over here. What was that she said? Okay, yeah. So that attack was definitely different. We didn't actually take advantage of that. Um, what's it called? <laughs> of making that zombie groggy. Oh, they stay groggy for a while, and then of course it seems like they're an easy kill. Okay, so that's definitely a good strategy. Uh oh, that lightning... Lightning is putting in work. Um, I'm kinda curious. I wanna check out anything in the corners here. Oh, it's kind of odd that they would include them. And not have there be anything to get from them. Oh, shoot. My bad. My bad. Thought I could maybe veer to get over that rubble, and that would be... there would be something back there, but I guess not. Oh? No, no, no. The big jump? <laughs> Fair point. More zombie basketball? How many points can you rack up? We can get plenty. Alright, so let's make you... Let's get a whole bunch of these guys groggy. Alright. I should just honestly do this more. Wait, try getting strong zombie... Or strong basketball zombies out of bounds to help you score? Dang, so that's definitely a strong one. Yeah, because they're doing tons of work. Jeez. So we're getting points, albeit we're getting bodied in the meantime. Can I, like, stun you, please? No, it doesn't seem so. Alright, so let's bring you guys over here for now. Because I don't, I don't think they're even, like, blocking them. Yeah, we haven't even, like, killed or... We're having a tough time even damaging the really strong zombies. Because as soon as we get close, it just, like, lays into us. We are scoring, though. Aren't we? Or no, we're not. That's a little bit concerning. We're gonna lose. Yeah, cause it's because that zombie is spiking... <laughs> spiking the ball back at us. Or each of the zombie heads back at us. Did I actually kill it now? Finally, jeez. Hmm. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna go and use our magical powers here. Although it's kind of like a a short fix or a quick fix to a problem I've really got to figure out. These big zombies are definitely a problem for the future, and we have to deal with. Come on, let's let's kill you. Are we gonna do it? We're really close. Oh, we're gonna be like one short. We're gonna be one short. Oh. <laughs> we actually lost basketball, and it's a it's a death. It's a straight up death. We get exploded. So I didn't have a lot of luck trying to make the big zombie groggy. So I think what I'll need to do is kind of take a more fleeting approach with um, those chainsaw attacks as I dodge over it. The game was saying, you know, I could try to take it out of bounds. Zombie basketball. Time you're killing up zombies. How many points can you rack up? It seems like a one-sided game. Try getting them out of bounds to help you score. Let's put the round thing in the goalpost, Nick. That's a Hmm. Darn, I tried to... Oh, I see. So I can do like a drop kick, for example, and send the zombie flying. Come on. So let's aim for... Let's aim to try and uh, do some more drop kicks. We're just getting spiked, dang. Nope, not the one I uh, wanted to drop kick. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's get a whole bunch of points now. Alright. A whole bunch of zombies here, jeez. Some of them, some of these hits have to go in, right? <laughs> nice. The zombies are getting slaughtered. Incredible game, I wonder if we get medals based on how much time is left. It's so funny that they like chose basketball of all things to become a mini game in this game essentially. Wait, I want to see if there's anything over this way. Nope. Okay. All right, we can go up here. There's a lollipop down there. I'm actually really curious. I think we've been down there before, haven't we? Right? I mean, either way, it's just a normal lollipop, so... I guess we'll continue on this way. Oh, and we end up down there anyways. Because, of course. Nice. Yeah, so I think in the big hordes of zombies to get like all the big sparkle huntings and everything it's most advantageous to just make a whole bunch of zombies groggy and then from there aim to actually do a whole bunch of damage wait no I want to go up on this ramp I don't know what those stars do I'm sure you guys do wait game start what? Okay, I guess we died. I guess we died. Interesting. At least we don't have to do the basketball again. Not that it's a bad minigame. But it does take up some time. We're not missing a whole lot by continuing to just go for these up here. It's a little bit difficult to control Juliet when she's doing the chainsaw dash, if I'm honest. But, that's okay. And we're gonna miss out on some medals, because we died. But, that's okay. Wait, game start? Did you see that? In the upper left, or in the upper right corner, there was like a dynamite that was going crazy. Oh, does it count as sparkle hunting when we kill zombies like that? Or what? No, it is only still when we get three zombies, but we can do that with the chainsaw dash. Oh, I didn't realize that. 
<laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on, I'm sure. Nick's got a, <laughs> Nick's got a pretty tough time. <laughs> Latched onto her belt as she's, you know, jumping up and down, doing flips and all that stuff. He's probably hitting up against her butt all the time. <laughs> Luckily, the loading screens aren't too long. There, there's actually there's a decent number of them, which is probably one of the few things that isn't ideal about this game. But what is this music? Running zombies. That's hilarious. How is that baseball zombie not... Alright, so you are... And we got the mirror in the background. That's pretty cool. We can get some good grogginess going here. Although these zombies do not seem to want to be made groggy at all. We've also got a Nick ticket in the corner, I believe. What did I get hit by? Oh, that's right. They have projectiles. All right, you're dodging my, like, every attack. So we'll get you. And then, oh, we can actually make him groggy after, like, so many attacks. What? It's like a, like a grandma. That's hilarious. And there are a few pictures in the background, too. Let's see if we can make them... groggy. Finally. Alright, so this string of combos should make this one groggy. We can take you out. And now it's just Grandma Danielle, I guess, that we've got to take out. Oh, she charges like the football players. Aw, oh, man. I got a little bit too aggressive there trying to get some more damage in before she attacked. She's almost dead. That should do the trick. <laughs> well, then you came to the right place. We are at the gym, aren't we? Can I break these trees? I can. Give me all those sweet, sweet coins. I think when we die, we lose a lot of our coins, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. What's on the left? Ooh, a golden lollipop. And then, of course, a regular lollipop. What the... It's my new phrase I invented. Do you like... Alright, we're gonna do this just so that we are maximum efficiency. <laughs> what? Nick! In front of Juliet! Hit the correct buttons to earn rewards when using a vaulting box. This game is hilarious. Wait, I thought there were three people. Wait, what? Easter egg? Girls in Kenya have big butts. What are you saying? Oh man. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna have to get used to what all that entails again. But so it's basically you start off with matching circle and then there's a sequence of buttons, but I think they were all just squared that time. Oh well. God, I love shopping. Honesty, 
So I think we've got all that I really want to get from here. What was the new thing again? A rodent in chow mein? We don't quite have enough medals to get all that. Which is alright, honestly. Groggy? Doesn't seem so. I kinda wanna make you guys groggy and then go in for the kill. Let's see if I can do this attack. I can. Oh, and it only takes a couple, I think, to go in for the kill. So that's a pretty good strategy for these guys, I would say. Is to, um... Make them groggy and knock them down like this. And then go in for the kill with the sort of drop attack. That's pretty neat. Wait, how did I get in here? Where'd you go? Okay. What, did they just keep coming, or...? Oh, no, I gotta use him to uh, blow up the barrels or whatever. Okay. Off we go. Big jump. I hate this. I love the rainbows and everything. It's so funny. Beat Dad's high score and you get new items in the shop. We are randomly unlocking, not randomly, but we are unlocking new items and we'll see it in the lower right corner. I always thought it was just when we got enough medals to increase uh, or beyond what we're actually able to buy currently, right? Like the next item available is just whatever next record. All right, let's see what we can do. It looks like we gotta avoid all the lightning here. You can see I'm still not exactly an expert when it comes to aiming with this. Isn't one of them on fire? Oh no, just like enraged. Oh my, am I on fire? No. Alright, so this is uh, not exactly working very well. Oh my. Alright, so we're doing some good damage with these big attacks. Holy cow! Look at this! <laughs> Zombies taste like chainsaw death. That's comical. <laughs> I can't get this zombie. Or Katy Perry song. Oh no, 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 no! Alright, we gotta get up and we gotta heal ASAP. Darn it. I'm like getting comboed to death here. Alright, we are not exactly killing it here, but you know what? We're doing our best, I guess. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, these. This is, uh, this is proving to be a little bit of a struggle. Alright, let's just go for some chainsaw attacks. I was, like, going for the groggy and all that, but... But I don't think that was the best way of going about it. 
Alright, let's pick up this lollipop, because we had to use a couple there. Alright, we'll start curving for the turn. Keep on curving. Ooh, which way do we want to go? Left or right? Aw, oh, man. I should have gone to the right. I wish I went to the right. Oh, I, I saw the do not enters and I was like, every bit of me wants to do it. But I also didn't want to die and lose all my medals. That would be a real shame. Oh, I missed the lollipop. I thought I was close enough to get it. But alas. It's alright, I'll be alright. Got four lollipops. And it seems like we're now doing a big jump to get that present. I'm curious to see what it is. It's probably some sort of new weapon or upgrade or something like that, right? We have a zombie hunter older sister. I'm sure that's what she would get us. <laughs> Just casually hanging. Nice jump. Oh, I can't wait for you to shoot the fuck out of stuff with this. Cordelia's like the best big sister ever. Oh my goodness. Chainsaw, Chainsaw Blaster! Chainsaw Blaster. <laughs> That's great. Zombie Baseball. Aim and shoot at the approaching zombies. Can you score a winning home run? The game starts with the home team losing by an overwhelming amount of runs. Hold L2 to aim the chainsaw blaster. Press R2 to Let's fire the chainsaw. Oh, and it kind of like locks on. And I've got ammo in the lower right corner. You shot him instead of throwing a ball at him. That's hilarious. Sweet shot. Bottom of the ninth, Juliet Starling at bat. Looks like they want to play ball. Zombie Dick must run the bases. Make sure he gets to home plate three times to win. Okay. Awesome. Here I go. Woo! You're not getting the way of my Nick. Yes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Ted Williams, your face. <laughs> Wait, no, no. He like does a little dance each time he gets to the base. It's not uh, exactly helpful. A little bit low on ammo. Nice. So there's one run. Oh shoot, this is not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, that's because they can throw balls. Interesting. No. While you're blown into a million fucking pieces, think we'll wrap things up in the booth. See ya. No. No. Only I had protected you. And not my. It's actually the other way around, Nick. If only we had protected you. I really hope I didn't lose all my medals. I saved up at least three hundred. I did not realize that they could throw baseballs at Nick, and so it matters not just that we get the ones immediately near Nick, but all of them. Let's see, is it going to tell us how many medals we have? Alright, we still have a decent number. Alright, this time we're more well informed, we'll do just fine. So it only takes one hit to actually kill them. Just good to know. Before I wasn't sure. That's hilarious. Sweet shot. Bottom of the ninth, Juliet Starling at bat. Looks like they want to play ball. All right, let's do this. Here I go. Go get him, Nick. Run like the wind. What the heck? I'm Ted Williams, your face. 
Alright, so we did that. Oh, I see. So this guy's got the baseball bat, but not all of them do. Some of them are pitchers, too. Come on! Aiming, the homing isn't uh, always super accurate, but it's fine. Now they have the pitchers. I see. Oh, what? That was like a crawler. Oh, interesting. So I think the pitchers take more than one hit to to get killed. Come on, come on. Dang, that was that was intense. So the pitchers always, I think, spawn from that area. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Ah, oh, crap. That ammo disappeared a lot faster than I expected. This is gonna be tough. Wait, what are these? Ah, oh, we're dead. We're so dead. Yep. <laughs> this is tougher than expected. This is tougher than expected. Each level basically has its own sort of minigame that has been surprisingly challenging. Okay, okay. And so each run is essentially getting uh, quite a bit more difficult. The homing doesn't always hit, which is a little bit annoying. It's not the end of the world. The homing itself is nice. But you, you really have to watch the bullet. You're right, to see if it hits the zombie or not. Oh, and I see, I think our score carries over. And that's why our score in the last level was fine. It's because, well, each time we got the kills, it would carry over. So the number of continues directly impacts our, our higher score. All right, Nick, your time to shine. Bottom of the ninth, Juliet Starling at bat. Looks like they want to play ball. Wish he could run faster, man. Come on. All right, go for it. You're not getting the way of my Nick. See, like, it took three hits there. Ed Williams, your face. I think the, the best strategy is probably to home on to them as they're spawning, and then from there, we'll give it a minute, and then go for the attack. When it shows that red mark, that's how you know you're actually going to hit, I think. There should be one on the right over here. Come on. I can't hit because I'm pretty sure I'm literally running into Nick. Ah, oh, man, he's going to pitch. Come on. Okay. So, like, in that scenario, things get a lot more difficult. Okay, got you. The pitcher is definitely going to be one of the biggest challenges. It's a home run. Okay. I should have been team captain. Come on. I like there's so little precision with the aiming. Oh my goodness. It's like you move the joystick a little bit and it goes so far. Uh Alright, I'll give it I'll give it one more go and then I'll just do some editing magic to when I finally complete it, but it is it is surprisingly difficult to aim effectively in this minigame. It's the best way I'll describe it. I know it looks like I'm just super underperforming, but it is it is difficult to get the aiming the cursor to move just the amount you want. In like coordination with the homing. So anyways. The game starts with the home team losing by an overwhelming amount of runs. 
Oh, but it doesn't actually look like my score carried over. So maybe that's something I just was not correct about. Interesting. Juliet Starling at bat. Looks like they want to play ball. Here I go! Woo! You're not getting in the way of my Nick! Yes! Ah, Ted Williams, your face! What? Why? <laughs> How do I know when they're gonna be crawlers or not? Like, why is it not homing on there? <laughs> Check out that form. Yes. Touchdown. Or whatever. What is guys mean? <laughs> yeah. Come on, get the one up there. Get the one up there. That's hitting him! That was ineffective. Come on, let me hit him, let me hit him! Seriously. I need bullets! Oh, this is not good. I think it matters where I actually hit the zombie. Did I just get sparkle hunting? With the blaster? That's a surprise. Well the game's over. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do some editing. This is uh this is pretty rough. Finally did it. Has its own babe Ruth, and she's a real babe. <laughs> so in the in the end, what I ended up going for 
was the... I think the ship went over to the school's unrealistically gigantic swimming pool. Totally. Let's go. <laughs> um, the strategy I ended up settling on was just trying to keep my cursor on Nick the whole time. Not trying to actually move around and take out zombies as they were spawning, but just focus on whatever was actually getting close to Nick. And then in the meantime, hitting uh, the pitcher in the middle. Mom, can you believe Cordelia wants to buy a motorcycle? <laughs> there is no way. Those things are death traps. Bad enough your dad has one, and the same goes for you. I mean, I agree. However, it's the furthest thing, or it's definitely not the, the most life-threatening thing Cordelia is doing at the time, right? <laughs> okay, so now we have 345. I'm gonna get another... gonna get the rodent in Chalmain. Increase our health a little bit more, and then next up is the octopus roll. Okay, okay. We have a decent number, not a decent number, but some number of platinum medals. We could get the American cheerleader costume. Show them how much you love freedom in this cheer outfit. I have minimal uh, patriotism at the moment, but that's okay. We'll just stick with what we got for now. Keep on heading this way. We got a full charged uh, meter. I get the impression we're going to be getting to a boss fairly soon. This is Cordelia's perspective, sniping the enemy. Not her sister, though. There's our Viking friend. <laughs> Bye -bye, really. Onward to further victory. Juliet, execute maneuver 54 B. Right. One, two, three. Good luck, sis. And you too, cute head boyfriend whose name I forget. <laughs> Time for the showdown on the Viking ship, I guess. If it isn't the pirates of the jerk off in. You've got a lot of balls <laughs> sitting foot on me, ship step bar. Getting a little seasick. Alright, boys! Yamir, let's cut this bit into bite-sized chum! I'm gonna use her stairs to make a hat and use her spine as a back scratcher. How intimidating. Let's show her the Viking way. <laughs> you meal. Influences, bathery, slay, enslaved, necrophilia. What? <laughs> what? The most powerful single attack is the Chainsaw Full Swing. Don't we have that? Do we get that already? Hmm. Drop dick, er, drop, wow. Drop kick dangerous zombies to make them groggy. And to get them out of the battlefield, right? Like we, that was what was the most helpful during that zombie basketball thing. We are Viking short and stout. We like to drink as fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So we're actually doing some damage here. Oh, I see. So we can't attack him while he's doing that, I guess? Yikes. So we took a fair amount of damage there. We're about to take some more damage, I guess. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, wait, what? No! That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know what happened. 
how I ended up triggering this. Obviously, I must have let go of L2 at some point. We're not going to get anything out of it, though. Yeah, like, minimally so. This lightning is fucked up. Oh, well. Dodging. You can get out of the way. Alright, nice. Get some hits in. Oh, he just like straight up charged us. That's the attack that stuns us. So he's like basically charging up to charge at us. He's gonna hit with the lightning. And then we can get some damage. In. Nice. Lightning attack. Do some damage. Uh, we got stunned though, so now he's gonna do his level charge. Go for the lightning. Really? I find lightning really cool. I'm one of those people that like really enjoys like watching uh, storms. Oh man, we're so close. I think. Although he's probably gonna have multiple stages, just like Zed. Come on. Oh my god, the screen, like, sort of tearing effect is so cool. Naturally, that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> so now he's got a floating uh, top half of his body that we can probably aim for. Yeah. Can we actually damage his lower body? Yeah, we can. Alright, so we take that out, I think in order to basically buy us some time. Wait, what did we just get shocked by? It looked like it was on the, the left and the right. There was some sort of attack that hit us on both sides. Oh, I see. It's like a wave that's coming after us. All right, so he's back. Let's get some more ammo in the meantime. All right, so now I can just attack the, the floating body, I guess. Doing quite a bit of damage, honestly. What? Oh, what? I was not ready for that. Obviously. Take out the lower body just to be safe. Can you use the blaster bullets while he's up there? Aw, oh, man. He's, he doesn't have a whole lot of health left, though, if I'm honest. Oh, man. We're able to dodge those attacks fairly consistently. Let's use our blaster bullets. Run up and finish him! Oh, did I just get stunned? I did. Darn it, I, I tried to run up and, and get one hit in, but... Now we're gonna dissociate his, his head, or the bear, maybe? He's totally not dead. He's totally not dead. What? How did his head grow? Of course. Oh my. That's a, that's a pretty intense attack. We'll use the lollipop just to be on the safe side of things. He's just bouncing around the ship. So we can get some good hits in when he finally stops. I don't know exactly how frequently he'll stop, though. And when he's doing that, we can uh, fire some blaster shots. Aw, oh, man. I tried to dodge in the meantime. Unsuccessfully, obviously. Now he's going to do some bouncing around. It's alright. I was good at air hockey as a kid. I'm tra I've am i trained my whole life to anticipate where the hockey puck is going to slide around the table. We're actually able to get a good amount of damage with these blaster bullets. Dang. It's honestly... I, it's totally worth the trade there. He's all over the place right now. Here we go. Ooh, slashing. 
right across the head. There we go. Juliet's a warrior too. I hear Viking brains are good for the complexion. <laughs> what? Yo, let's go, Juliet. My non existent balls. Uh oh. Not the lollipop. No, well, it seems like Juliet's found herself in a precarious situation. Alright, we did a little bit better. I think a little bit overall. We didn't get as much spark hunting, but our continues were <laughs> horrible. <laughs> That's definitely the bane of our uh, existence in this level, but. Not the end of the world. Um, we got a fair amount of zombie medals, which is cool. We got some MP3s. And we can now use the Chainsaw Blaster. Cool. So, next up is going to be what? O'Bannon Farm. Well, I'm pretty excited. I did say we would go to Juliet's house. I do want to briefly just see what's in Juliet's room. I don't want to take the time, because this has, again, been a little bit of a longer episode, but... What are all these? Phone calls? Oh, are these like different models? Huh. Zombie album, Juliet's room. Interesting, so different like things we can collect, I guess. Trophies, Zombie Hunter Apprentice. Huh, okay. And then these are, this is the lollipop case. These are all the golden lollipops. Flavor cow fresh cream for strawberry lovers. Soothe the sore throat, okay. And then these are the phone calls. Don't do anything stupid, I can't wait to meet him. Boy, really, I really am a dingbat. Maybe, maybe this would be fun to listen to at the end. There are plenty of phone calls to get. So we'll, we'll check them out at the end. That feels like a fun thing to do. Let's take a look at the costumes. This is how you supposedly change them. So, San Romero cheerleader, sexy American casual. <laughs> it's pretty cool too. I think I'm, I'm compelled to stick with the original though, for the sake of uh, an authentic playthrough right now. Stick with the San Romero Knights. And then leaderboards for the different scores. Okay, cool. So this will definitely, that's plenty of content for a bonus episode after the playthrough. But, of course, in the next episode, we're going to hit up O'Bannon Farm and see what uh, Dark Purveyor we can take down there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The zombie baseball took some getting used to, but eventually found a strategy that worked. And for the most part, again, that was, that was an awesome level. I love how off the wall the game is. I look forward to whatever I can't predict is going to happen in the next level. And I hope you guys are looking forward to it uh, as well. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.